Hey everyone, so this video was supposed to go up before the new year, but I happened to not have time to put it up, so I decided to refilm it for you. So obviously, as you can tell from the title, it's going to be my favourite products of 2012. So these are the products that I've been using, I was using a lot in 2012 that I literally kept repeating over and over again. You probably noticed that I didn't really film many monthly favourites because I didn't really have that many new products and I was always repeating because obviously I like these products and stuff. So I thought I'd show you, you know, collectively what I was enjoying. A lot of them might be from last year, you might have noticed them. If you watched my 2011 favourites, I might have mentioned some of these products, but I love them so I kept on using them. So first of all for foundation, I have the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation. Now this wasn't my favourite from the beginning of the year because I'm in the shade Cappuccino and it's quite rare and quite dark for me. So I didn't really reach for them. I was trying different products, different foundations. I did a lot of reviews on foundations last year. Um, so I was trying different ones out, but I gave it another try and um, I was initially mixing it with the Revlon Photo Ready foundation and I liked it, um, but um, I wasn't too sure. But after after watching um, Love For Fashion, um, she uses the same foundation but she mixes it with the Makeup Forever HD foundation and these two, as you probably can tell, this is very red, it's quite red and that's obviously not that red. Um, yeah, so I mix them two, I'm in the shade 178 in this one and yeah, perfect, perfect shade. I have run out of my Makeup Forever, so today, well lately I've been wearing my Match Master. I'm in between 8 and 8.5, I feel, I feel like 8.5 is a little too dark and 8 is a little too light, so I'm kind of mixing. I want to try the mahogany shade and the caramel shade but I'm really struggling to find caramel in this in the UK I've been checking on eBay and they all seem to be sold out so I will try mixing those two because I think that could be a better shade match for me for concealer it would be for my I use this to shape my brows this is the MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer now this is discontinued so they don't sell them anymore but I happen to find it on eBay I know I don't have a link because this was the only one I could find. There were two others in the shade NW40 that were um, on eBay, but I think they've they've um, been sold now. But I absolutely love this formula for you know for um, shaping my brows. So after you know use my pencil and stuff, I use this to you know neaten it and make it a lot more sharper. You know how like I don't know how to explain like play doh that sort of creamy type, gulpy type um, texture. I prefer it to the studio finish and I have been using this every single time I do my eyebrows without fail. The one I have is pretty much almost run out but I happen to find this one so I'm so happy and I definitely will keep using it. I haven't found anything else to replace it and I'm happy that I found this. I will keep searching to see if I can find it you know, online and stuff but that, that concealer is amazing for my brows not so much for my face, I tried it on my face when I first bought it and I didn't like it another concealer which I obviously discovered towards like the end of the year is the Maybelline Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me concealer which looks like this it's um, a light coverage it comes in this like um, what do you call it, don't for applicator I use this for my under eye, just to give that under eye bright effect, and I really, really liked it. I it originally wasn't in the UK when I first got it. It was only available in the US, so I got it. I got it online, I think, on eBay. But they've now they've now introduced it to the UK. This is the shade 30. The shade 30 in the UK is darker than this, so it's quite strange. Um, so I go for the US version, but there's a 13 and a 35. 35 is too dark. But this is under my eyes, pretty close to the NW40 shade as well. I really like it, but now I've, I've switched something else. I now use the Studio Finish in NW40 under my eyes, and that's a lot more like fuller coverage. It's like really, yeah, heavy duty concealer. So um, yeah, I really like the foundation. I really like the concealer. It was like three or four pounds on eBay, but it's like six fifty in stores, like in Superdrug. So I'll probably keep getting mine. I have quite a few anyway. I literally bought like five of them. So I'll probably keep using that for now. For powder, you definitely know what I'm going to say. It would have to be the 
Ben Nye translucent face powders. I have three shades. I have chestnut, which is like my all over face powder. Like that. Topaz, which I use the under eye if I want that sort of not too bright everyday, um, not too bright everyday look. I want to wear this every day. And then I have banana, which is like literally universal, every shade. To be honest, every shade can use this depending on how you, you know, apply it. And then this one would, you know, would be definitely for that the really obvious under eye brightening look for like nighttime. I even wear this in the daytime, so it depends on how you want to how you apply it. But these powders are absolutely amazing. I think I first discovered them from this um, little pumpkin pie Jackie. Um, I think I feel like I'm gonna have lipstick on my teeth, so I keep like licking my teeth. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah, um, little pumpkin pie first introduced this. I know it was it came out before she used it, but I just happened to she sold me on them and looked how it looked on her skin, and I had to get it. I think I first got banana powder first, and then I got chestnut, and I got the other ones. But I absolutely love this. Um, love those powders. I think they're supposed to have some sort of um, what do you call it? Oil control to them. I don't know how true that is. But um, I use my banana powder in my T-zone as well anyway, so um, if it does the trick, then I guess it does, but I always have my blot powder. Which brings me to that, I have my MAC blot powder. This has been my holy grail lifesaver. Oh yeah, um, it normally comes with like a powder puff, but I don't have it, I need to you know, wash it. It looks like that, it's basically like a powder that sort of blots um, oils on your face. I think it has like silica in it or something. Um, so I use this in my T-zone, after I apply my face, whatever, everything on my face, I use this in my T-zone and put sometimes on my chin and around my nose because that gets quite shiny as well. And it's been a lifesaver. I never leave home without it. If I do leave home without it, I, I, it's happened before, I had to buy another one just because just I left it. I don't use a face primer anymore, but even when I did do, I still felt I needed to use my blot powder. But I think I am less oily without a face primer than with so um, I love this this foundation, this powder and yeah I think I'll always continue to use this until I can figure out how to not be oily. Another face product, you definitely see this in all my tutorials, I never ever do a tutorial without them, without this, it is the Sleek Face Contour Kit. Hello, <laughs> I'm in the shade Dark and I have hit pan but they, oh yeah, they also come with a, a, a highlight bit as well. So this is a gorgeous colour for you, for those who want a nice, like, glowy skin. And then it came out with another one, which is called the Face Form. Pretty much the same concept, but it has a contour, highlight, and then some sort of blush. But it's like a, sorry for reflecting, it's like a um, bronzing type blush. It reminds me of Sunrise or, um, yeah, it reminds me of Sunrise, but this is £10 and the other one was £6.50 or £7. Amazing products. I love Sleek, you know, I love my Sleek products. And ever since I lost my um, MAC Blonde blush, I always use this and it's absolutely amazing. For my skin tone and if you're lighter as well, um, like NW45, NW40 maybe, um, this shade is amazing. The, the, the um, contour colour is perfect, you definitely can see it on your skin. For those who are darker, um, for those who think, who feel these, this doesn't show, I will probably suggest using using like some sort of dark brown eyeshadow, but make sure it's matte because you don't want to have like glitter all over your face. The Covergirl Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. This I, I got introduced by um, watching a lot of Makeup Dolls videos. She, used to, you, she normally uses this a lot and um, was I gonna say? Yeah, it's amazing. If you don't want to use blush, sometimes it's just how this just helps add like warmth to your face. It has like I don't know if you can tell, but it has like sort of shimmery reflexes to it. But it doesn't actually show up on my skin. Well, I don't really see it anyway, so that shouldn't really worry you. Like I said, it's not available in the UK, but you could probably get this on Amazon, maybe eBay. But I doubt that very much. I got this through a swap, so I was able to get it. But um, I love, I love it. Brushes, they would have to be my Real Techniques brushes. I do have a couple of other ones, but I don't know why I don't have it here with me. But these are the ones I use predominantly for my face. 
yeah. <laughs> this is the buffer brush. So my foundation, sorry they're dirty, but obviously you know that I actually use them. The buffer brush. So I use this my liquid foundation. Amazing for blending. It's so soft and so smooth. You don't really, it doesn't leave you with like streak lines or anything. Um, and then you have the contour brush. And this is what I use for my contouring. So contouring my cheekbones. And then we have this pointed foundation brush. This one I don't use for foundation because it's just it's just too small. I sometimes use it for under my eye to apply my under eye concealer. It's really small detailer, but I think it's called the detailer brush. This I probably just use for like my tear duct to apply colour to my tear ducts because it's so small. Or you could even use it as your lip brush. But these ones are gonna be my like main holy grail brushes, the face, because I absolutely love them. I have my Sigma brushes as well, but those ones are my mostly used face brushes. I forgot to mention another concealer palette that I discovered, also from Little Pumpkin Pie. It's the Coastal Scents Camouflage Palette. comes with 10 shades, and I mainly use this on clients, really, because it's a lot of shades in one palette. And um, this shade is similar to NW40, and that's similar to NW45. So this is the one in my like my kit and I have my own. But um the only thing I'll say about the only thing I'll say about this concealer is that it gets quite dry. Um so sometimes I just like run it over my radiator or something or like my heater just to warm it up a little bit, but um gives good coverage as well and I used to use it under my eyes but I switched from that. I don't know, I just felt like it got a bit too dry. But this is really good for those who want to, um, who are trying out different shades or might even be makeup artists as well to try out and then you need to put in your kit, um, you know, instead of carrying so many individual colours. Eyeliner has to be my L'Oreal Super Liner Black Lacquer. I think last year I was using the Carbon Gloss, which is more like the black and blue um, writing, but this one is less, you know, less shiny, it's still quite glossy, but less glossy than the carbon gloss and um, I just love how it applies. I'm filming babe. Oh, I see the paint. What paint? I see it. Where? Your paint? I haven't seen your paint. Are you looking for it? Yes. <laughs> what about the colour one? What, which one? The new one? Yes. It's by the dog. It's over there. Don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it because it's going to be heavy. This is what the um, applicator thing looks like. I love how black and thick it makes you know, my liner and I pretty much use it in all my um, tutorials. Also this MUA pencil as well from my waterline. Only a pound and it's just amazing. Amazing. It's very black and very... Um, it actually shows up on my eyes. So that's another one I'd say for eye products that I absolutely love. Eyeshadows, why isn't it here? I should go get them. I forgot my eyeshadows. From my MAC palette, which is looking quite disgusting, but I'm just gonna pick out the ones that I was using a lot because I, I just can't show you this palette. It's just really horrible. Uh, my One of my most reached for eyeshadows from my MAC palette is Swiss Chocolate. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a light brown, light brown, medium brown, shade and I use this for my transition colour so most of the time when I would do a look so I'd have my highlight my eyebrow highlights my actual like crease colour or whatever and then I'd put that in between to get that, to give that sort of gradient effect. Where is my vanity palette? Oh god sorry. Another eyeshadow palette which you know I talk about all the time and it has to be the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. The brown shade in the corner I use for my eyebrows, to fill in my eyebrows. I absolutely love this palette. I love Wet n Wild. You know I love Wet n Wild. Literally all their products that I've tried, absolutely love them. I have a whole collection of them. And yeah, so this palette, amazing. You can do a lot of looks with it and yeah, I love this palette. I have about six or seven because, simply because each one seems to break. I can show you another one that I have. Look at that one. That's the one I'm currently in my makeup bag and that's missing two shades as you can see on top there. I've always hit pan with the brown shade. 
I have so many like that because that's just what happens to this particular palette. My absolute favourite lipstick of the year, as you know, is Wet n Wild's 908C Sugar Plum Fairy. And this is supposed to be the dupe to the MAC Rebel lipstick. Now, I lost my Rebel lipstick and I don't miss it because this is even better. Absolutely gorgeous plummy purple shade. I don't have that on today, but I literally wore this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I love it. For hair products, this was also discovered um, towards the end of the year. So this Tresemme Argan Moroccan Oil Straightening Spray. Amazing. So when you wash your hair, like shampoo and condition your hair, you leave your hair wet, you spray this on your hair, and then you blow dry it, and it honestly, frizz free, it's like silky smooth, amazing. And I'm so happy that I discovered this because most of the time when I, you know, I like to, I don't like to wait to air dry my hair, I like to blow dry my hair pretty quickly. So you see all the short strands and everything was from the heat. I know you do use, you meant to use heat protector as well, but it doesn't seem to help. But this honestly works to, you know, to reduce the frizz and those short hair sticking up. I wouldn't use this if your hair was dry because it's, it's got argan oil, so it will look quite greasy, if that makes sense. So I'd spray this if my hair was wet and it's amazing. So I just had to show you this. And I think that's it for my 2012 favourites. So I really, really enjoyed this year in terms of discovering new products and the ones I've showed you, I absolutely, absolutely love them and I will continue to use them. If you do have any new, any products I haven't mentioned that you'd like me to try out, definitely leave a comment down below. Even tell me what your favourite 2012 products were as well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!